I'll do that in a moment though. I just want to watch what these hippos are. I don't want to miss any more action. Because it is quite nice to see them opening their mouths. Oh, there's a little one. Hello. So maybe it was two females, uh, two hippo cows. Perhaps one cow got a little bit too close. Or the youngster got too close to another one. And it was just mom defending. Uh, her youngster like I said these things happen quite often they bump and bash each other and a little scuffle sort of probably a bit of swearing in a hippo language and, and then they carry on the nice pod I'm surprised that they're here in the spot out in the wind and just like the rest of the animals they don't really enjoy it either I thought that they would have moved all the way into the eastern corner where it's very sheltered but perhaps they won't get any sun down that corner because it's quite sort of dense with trees. Are you having a little snooze? Are you just loving the afternoon sun? Isn't that cool? Now I'm opening my bird app while you watch the hippopotamus. I want to quickly see which swallows we've got, if it's the European swallows or who is flying about here. My I like, actually like the pearl-breasted swallows. They're quite nice. Let's see. Mm, so they had a very white chest and a very dark back. Do they have a band? Are they perhaps barn swallows? Or do they have a very white throat? Maybe they are the pill breasted. We'll see when they fly about over the top of the hippos. You might actually have to help me and take a screenshot and then give me key identifying features because they're moving so quickly. Or are you Martins? I'm trying to think now. You see when the pearl breast did come back, they should be on their way back. Let's go status, not status. Uh, when do they come to South Africa? Yeah, so about now, from August right through to April. So I'm not quite sure exactly which swallows are, could be the pearl breasted. I don't see a particular band on their throats which would indicate that there would be barn swallows, also no brown or white throated swallows, I didn't see anything like that. Let's see, maybe they're, I don't think they're, they're not saw wings. I don't know, they're not martens. Mosque swallows. I don't think I've ever seen a mosque swallow. Let me look for mosque swallows. This is from Tristan, of course. Mm, where are you? So, it's not the mosque swallows because these have got a completely white belly. And the mosque swallows, from what I'm looking at at the moment, has got quite a sort of chestnut uh, belly. So, I wonder if it's not the, the pearl breasted around here or do they have a band under their throat it's hard to see oh well we'll figure it out at some point i'll see if i can't take a picture here comes one no i think they are pearl breasted one just flew close by here we go hippo opening its mouth always nice to see definitely standing out against the dark contrast what are you just stirring the bubble bath in the jacuzzi Oh no, you're getting upset with that hippo. I'd also be very upset if I got a bottom to my face. It's interesting the dynamics sort of with hippos and I, I'm looking forward to going uh, to Kenya because just with the sitting and watching them on the river cans is it's obviously quite fascinating and because they occur in larger pods than they do here in South Africa well in the areas that we drive around and it'd be nice to sort of watch the dynamics again and sort of figure out exactly how the sort of family structure works. Remember, it's the females again that stick together and the youngsters, uh, well, sometimes you see mom and the youngsters actually going off and forming their own little mini pod and there'll be one dominant bull, sometimes some younger uh, bulls that are quite submissive, not showing any interest in the girls and they'll be tolerated around here. But because it's a small area, uh, we sort of see a couple of different groups um, around here and we often see a pod down this side and there's three uh, in my opinion there's about three different family groups that we, we see. Paula you were actually wondering about the dynamics of, of hippos but I want to take a, a minute though just have a little listen can hear the water slashing up against the edge of the banks. The hippos, of course, vocalizing. Very interesting. Very noisy. I can barely hear the voices in my head today. It's unusual. Usually they're quite loud as well. Oh, there we go. Oh, beautiful. You need a good scrub. 
Tally Ho, you say that you're shivering just watching that hippo. Don't worry, the hippos will actually be fairly warm, I reckon. Uh, they, they won't be too worried about uh, the cold weather. However, Sebastian and I, on the other hand, are freezing this afternoon. I think I made a grave mistake again by not bringing out more jackets. We might have to swing past home at some point. I'm still trying to figure out what swallows these are. Has anybody else um, sort of given their opinion as to what they could be? I don't know if they maybe are barn swallows or maybe white-throated. It's just so hard to tell. Let me see when the white-throated come back. They're also intra-African migrants, so they should be coming back now. Yeah, again, because some of them look like they're completely sort of that beautiful white right from the, uh, from the top of their so under underside of their beaks right down their bellies and then every now and then I see some that look like they've got bands so they could either be the pearl breasted or the white throated I've yet to see any of that chestnut color on them definitely not wire tailed swallows that's for sure I have never seen a wild wire tail swallow before we'll figure it out eventually if you do manage to get a screenshot please share it with us hashtag safari live we are really great to have a look and then of course we can make an accurate uh, uh, what in the word I'm looking for? It wouldn't took it. ID. <laughs> right. Right, I couldn't even think of that. Well, it's going to be fantastic. Okay, well, that's quite good. Uh, let me, let's see go, if we can just go quickly to the island. I want to see if, if uh, Vlad is around or Boris. We're gonna, we want to test it as well. So here we go. So I apologize if we uh, do have gremlins hopping on board, but you'll safely go across to Tristan. Wagtails. 